Hi Cantors, welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, it's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. Oh, wow, okay. I've never forgotten you even though you think I have. So, you know, if you're in this complete non-communication, they're kind of in and out maybe even, but I am sensing more like just complete, just like ghosting. They still think about you a lot. They haven't forgotten about this connection. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, you know, am I ever gonna hear from this person again? You know, have they just forgotten about me and moved on? Well, they've not. So a message from them to you. They have not. You're very much in their heart and mind. Whoa! Message is absolutely leaping out today. <clears throat> hmm. I'm finally seeing the consequences of my actions. So, you know, whatever they've kind of done in your connection, uh, you know, they're feeling this effect from it. Um, you know, if they're like not talking to you, you know, they're feeling isolated, alone. Um, you know, just just kind of whatever they've done to impact this connection in a negative way. It's like they're sitting alone, just kind of going over and over it in their mind. And, you know, a lot of them are getting some kind of bad karma for it, which they're going through just now. Um, you know, it's the consequence of them, like, not speaking is just leaving them feeling completely alone and sad and, and isolated, you know? They're really feeling this. Um, I think we'll get one more of these cards and I'm gonna move on to some other oracles. I don't know how I feel anymore. So I'm just getting that this group of DMs, I don't, it's not to do with your connection that they don't know how they feel. Like they very much <laughs> know, obviously. Um, it's like their emotions. I was saying this in the last reading. It's like they're so kind of up and down just with their life in general. And, you know, literally you could speak to them in the morning and they'll be in a totally different mood and their emotions will be totally different like then that night or something. This is someone who, you know, really, really is going through like a lot of emotional turmoil and it's just making their energies like really unbalanced a lot of the time I'm getting. Um, like it's like they can't even process their own thoughts sometimes. I just get that they're really mixed up just now. And again, not to do with you, just like in their life in general, it's just kind of, I, I just keep hearing that this person is really, really mixed up. Um, you know, kind of mental health issues, could be substance abuse going on, making them kind of, you know, they can't process their thoughts clouding their mind there's something here it's like they can't think straight <clears throat> yeah so my nerves have been getting the best of me so it kind of links in with what i was saying about you know some mental health issues um there's a lot of anxiety in this group um and it kind of is you know when you're going through you know, a really anxious time, you know, if any of you have actually suffered with anxiety, like I have, um, growing up and things, it's, that is the kind of mindset you get into. It's like, you can't think straight. Your mind's just all over the place. Um, you know, I don't know if any of you have ever noticed, like maybe 
if you are getting some text messages and things, or just messages wherever f from your DM, it's like their thoughts aren't very ordered and they could be making like a lot of spelling mistakes and things. Um, it's just, I, yeah, like I say, you'll kind of understand if you've been through that before, but you can't think clearly and you, you're really like forgetful and things when you're really anxious and, um, you know, it's like they're typing out things that it, kind of in a rush and their thoughts are all over the place, like thinking about five things at once. So it doesn't really come out right in, in text messages um, is what I'm getting. And yeah, it's like they're kind of trying to rush the message sometimes or, you know, it's just this anxious feeling. It, it, it does make them make a lot of mistakes in the messages. So that might only resonate with a few people, but it's really what I'm feeling with that. Um, some people don't want us to be together, but I don't care. So yeah, a lot of you have had people that have really tried to sabotage this connection, come in between you, um, just really try and stop you guys being together, block you guys. Like, you know, you might have people just really interfering, like, saying, you know, your DM doesn't care about you or, you know, it's kind of like flying monkeys, if you've ever heard that phrase, you know, and they'll be saying stuff to your DM about you, um, just things that's like really trying to stop you guys like come together here, maybe even meet for the first time if that's your situation. It's like people will, it's such a strange thing, will almost do anything to keep you guys apart. Because people sense, you know, the power of, of twin flames, like, coming into reunion. They sense it. Even if they don't know what twin flames are and stuff, it's like, people pick up on those vibes. And they will really try, you know, low vibe people will really try and stop you being together. So I'm sensing, like, a lot of sabotage has happened with this connection. Um, you know, from lots of different people here. But your DM doesn't care about that, they don't care what's being said, if if anything negative is being said, they just don't care. They want to be together with you. You know, they won't listen to other people. They'll, in fact, they'll defend you um, a lot. They're actually really protective and, and defensive of this. So you'll probably find they've been standing up um, to other people about you. And the important one, I'm going to take action. I'm just planning the approach. So again, this person, you know, their nerves really have been getting to them. Like I said, their their mind is pretty chaotic at the moment is what I'm picking up. So, you know, if they've not come forward yet, it's because their mind is like quite muddled at the moment, but they want to come forward. They're going to do it here. It's just taking them some time to plan this here because they are quite kind of all over the place right now. Um, let me see. I think we'll go with these oracles. And then I'm going to use, I'm really excited to use these Tarot Familiar cards. I don't think I've used them yet in a reading. Um, maybe a personal, but not on the channel. So thank you so much again to Erin V, one of my amazing viewers who sent me these. Um, so yeah, I think we'll use these oracles first. Hmm, <clears throat> oh, interesting. <clears throat> Let me just process a second, sorry guys. Um, yeah. So, we'll go with this one first. So, unspoken. Regrets, lost words, disappointment. So, you know, for the DMs, there's a lot of regrets, you know, for the things they've done. There's a lot of regrets for not speaking speaking, you know, what they wanted to say, denying their feelings, holding themselves back, like they're regretting this and they're regretting the ghosting. You know, if they're ghosting you right now, 
they they do regret it. It's like they're disappointed in themselves here. Um, there's just like a lot of unspoken things between the two of you, a lot of unfinished business here, but they're regretting not saying what they really wanted to say and, and being authentic with you and authentic with themselves, you know? Um, but I'm just really strongly getting regrets for, for ghosting. Um, you know, it's almost like they want to reach out and, and touch you here. But, you know, there is this distance between you right now. But there's a lot of <laughs> hope here. Um, waiting, expecting, manifesting. So it's almost like, you know, you wish on those things, those little flower things. I don't know what they're called. Somebody write in the chat, comment in the chat if you know what these things are. But, you know, you like make a wish and you blow on them. That's kind of like what they're doing. It's like they're... You know, wishing on a star type thing um, for you, um, hoping that you'll kind of wait on them while they're going through this. Um, it's like they're trying to picture the future with you and manifest it. Um, you know, and I feel like you guys are mirroring each other with this. You know, a lot of UDFs are doing that as well. Um, hoping and manifesting and you know you are willing to to wait while your dm goes through this um but you know there's there is a lot of hope within them that they can come back once they're ready to um i think we'll get one more oracle card just being guided here Get one more card, woo, from my DS today. Oh goodness, I wanted one. <laughs> um, we're just gonna take the first one that came out, but I just want to show you what's on the bottom of the deck again. That only you card. Again, it is like they're really focusing on you and. They don't care what anyone else says about this connection. The ones that try to sabotage you. You know, I've we got that card, I've never forgotten you, even though you think I have. It's like all their eyes are on you and their, their, their focus is on you as much as they can focus through this chaos right now. You're the one that they're trying to manifest at the end of the day. Um, you know, and I feel like they're, probably doing a lot of spying on your social media, <laughs> this group. But yeah, we have avoiding, blocking, um, escaping, pushing away. So I feel like this is what I was saying earlier, what a lot of them have done, like the ghosting and maybe they've blocked you on social media. Um, pushing you away, like I was saying about denying the feelings, um, denying the connection maybe. Um, trying to run away and escape here, like just bolting, <laughs> running, um, you know, this is what they have a lot of regrets for, all the unspoken things, all the things they've tried to deny, all this kind of running away, this blocking, they kind of, you know, they've been trying to avoid um, what they truly feel for you, because, you know, they just, they weren't ready to kind of ac accept that and accept um, the emotions here. Sorry, I'm just distracted because there's a black cat who's just, um, he's just in my garden outside. He's called Angus and Smokey doesn't like him because <laughs> Smokey doesn't like any cats. He's a weirdo. Um, but, you know, that's a sign of good luck as well. It's like luck's on your side here. Um... You know what I'm just getting as well, like, with the luck thing, I feel like a lot of them are going to be unblocking you. And, you know, it's not like they want to particularly, like, avoid you. It's just that they, you know, they're 
nerves and emotions and everything go kind of haywire and they just put up this wall, this like blocking wall, um, so they can kind of just have a bit of like space, you know, escaping here, you know, as the masculines run. Um, yeah, let's get some. Let's get some tarot familiars. Oh, that's so funny as well. This looks like that black cat Angus here. <laughs> that's me why I was guided to use them today. But, you know, guys, there is, even though they're kind of being like this, avoiding and ghosting and blocking and things like that, their hope is to manifest this future here. And they're going to take action. They're just planning what the hell to do. So what else do we need to know today for this group from a DFs? What are the DMs going through? What messages do they want to speak through the cards? Whoa. Okay, we're just going to go with these, these ones that came out, which is a lot. We're just going to do it. Right. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of, of cups energy. <laughs> oh my God. Give me a second here. This is a, wow. Hmm. Quite a message. Hmm. Hold on. Right, I just want to say we've got the Emperor coming out here. So Divine Masculine's energy showing up here. So I feel like they're it's like they're gonna be getting this stag kind of courage here to try to transmute like the the nerves, the anxiety that they've been going through. It's like they're gonna be you know, bold here. They're they're gonna get this like courage within themselves. It's a really nice card actually. So God, right, we've got Hmm. Let's see, we're gonna go with this first. We do have the page of cups, so um water energy, cancer Pisces, Scorpio. So Wanting to come in with an apology here when they do come back, a little kind of offer for you. I, f I f feel, you know, pages are quite an immature energy, so they could be quite kind of um, just quite immature with their emotions, you know, They're, they don't really know how to deal with emotion very well, hence all this kind of chaotic mind uh, energy I was getting. So, you know, they could just be younger than you, but, you know, they're wanting to offer some kind of sincere kind of message to you, probably an apology. Um, you know, we've got the Three of Cups again, more water energy. There's a lot of like, emotion and, and feelings going on with this so you know it is a card of celebration so it's like they want to come forward and you know just say something to you something humble for you guys to come back together but it can indicate a third party situation so if they do have um another relationship or a third party situation such as um an addiction, um, you know, just anything that comes between you, like work, family, anything like that, um, you know, it just can kind of indicate that that, that kind of has been, you know, a little bit of a block here between you guys. Um, I'm just again being drawn back to this. Some people don't want us 
together, but I don't care. I, there's, I don't know, it's like a group of people or something I'm getting. Could be one person. Could be like the two of you and one other person, but the, you know, it's like people coming in and trying to spread all this like, you know, almost like a smear campaign or just bad mouthing you to each other. It's so strange. Um, It's like they can't stand the thought of you guys being together. I don't, there's a lot of jealousy here. That's what it is, it's jealousy. And actually, if you look at this Knave of Cups card, there's three owls here. So again, it's like another three, another kind of interference here. I just, I feel like it's kind of like gossiping and ugh, just, just pretty low vibe. Um... Yeah, so actually, we've got the Queen of Cups, Cancer Energy. Um, oh, this camera is too low down today. <laughs> I'm going to hold them like that. Um, Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Now, normally, if you get two queens in a reading, it can indicate, like, you know, like two, two women here, like a karmic energy. Um, yeah, air energy, can um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer for the Queen of Cups. Um, you know, I feel that it doesn't have to be a romantic thing. It could be something like, you know, your divine masculine has a, a best friend who's a female. Um, it, you know, it could be like an interfering mother-in-law, that type of thing, whatever it is. Um, it's it's like this this Queen of Swords has kind of tried to come in between, you know, this this Queen of Cups and and their DM. Um, I just I don't know. I just get such a kind of menacing feel with these crows here. Um, Just like circling around the connection here. I don't know, just trying to spread some darkness. It's so strange. You know, we've got the Queen of Cups here, this wise old owl um, that's intuitive. It's like, I don't know. I don't know if that's a crystal ball here. I don't know, I'm just getting the light from this card. It's like, you're. it's like you're clinging on to the light. You know, you've got this light within yourself that's almost kind of like, you know, it's like a protection to kind of keep these crows at bay here. I don't know. But yeah, there's some kind of, I would say it's another female. It might just, I don't know, it might be another male just in quite a feminine energy or something, but uh, another female. Hmm, it's like another female showed up here and kind of, just really interfered with this connection, tried to sabotage it. I'm getting a lot of sabotaging with this read today. Uh, yeah. So we also got the Knave of Wands, which is the Page of Wands in traditional tarot, and the Knight of Wands here. So they're, they're wanting to come forward for sure. <laughs> Definitely with a message. Um, you know, we've got the page of, basically it's the page of cups and the, the page of wands as well. So two pages. So I'm really, are, I'm feeling like they could be younger than you. Or, you know, they're they're just kind of quite immature here. But um, there's a lot of messages wanting to come forward. And, you know, it's like they're, they are going to take action towards you. Like this card said. They are definitely going to. It's just they're planning on how to do it. And it's just showing up here again. And, you know, it's quite a lot of fire energy as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But, you know, they, they know they have to... Once they get their thoughts together, come back in here with, like, a lot of communication. You know, it can symbolise the Knight of Wands as well. This kind of player... Um, you know, attitude coming in and out of your life here. 
um, you know, coming back with a lot of like passion and promises and then ghosting and then just kind of that cycle can indicate that. I feel like this person as well, um, you know, might have, might have put you, yeah, it's like they, they, they were a bit of a player here and they kept kind of coming back to you and then going back to someone else and then coming back in here. Um, you know, I feel like they did that a few times, um, but, you know, it's just like they have so much regret here for doing that, <clears throat> you know, and... You know, the Emperor showing up here, the Emperor wouldn't do that kind of bullshit, you know. Um, so it's like they're kind of getting this maturity here. I feel like they've had to work on a lot on their maturity levels here. You know, going from this knave, this page, to an Emperor here, like this progression. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling it's like... You know, and it could even be like, you're a cancer f female or, you know, I just feel like this is like divine feminine energy. And then, you know, this air, it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They, they put you... Yeah, it's like they let this other person come into the connection here and they just kind of kept going back and forward a bit is what I'm getting between the two of you you know and they're finally feeling the consequences for that whoever they put in this mix in between you guys you know, didn't stick around for them. And now they can kind of mess things up with you too. So I'm feeling like this person, the consequences they're feeling are that they're alone. You know, I feel like they had a lot of self-worth issues as well. And this is probably why they kept putting you in a third party relationship here. It's like they needed validation for their ego, you know, for as, from as many people as they could get because they were so kind of lacking in self-worth here. It's like they were just looking for validation from loads of other people and situations. Um, you know, they just didn't feel good enough for their divine feminine, so they were kind of going off to other people to get that validation because they felt like they were on the same level if you know what I mean hmm interesting but yeah I'm just really feeling this approach from them with you know they're going to take action the knight of wands is very very like taking charge really fast moving here um so they're going to be saying something especially as we did get two pages they're all about messages um yeah it's just it's nerves with this person it's it's nerves stopping this and blocking this just now so if you're kind of waiting and waiting and waiting it's nerves with them i'm getting an extreme amount of anxiety with this person and almost to the point where it's making my chest feel tight um they could even have issues with their chest like What am I getting? Like coughing, heart palpitations, panic attacks, that, that type of thing. <sighs> yeah, it's quite a, a heavy energy here. Quite a heavy energy. Let's just get, let's just, I'm already feeling, I'm just going to say, let's look into the third party, you know, like putting... Uh, another man or woman like in between your connection I want to see if they're like done with that I'm getting this sense they are because they have so many regrets and um, you know we got this only you card so it's like they finally fucking realized <laughs> that they should be focusing 
on their Divine Feminine here. But let's get some clarification here. And I'm also just getting as well with the hypnotized thing. And you know what I was saying about the dark energy from these like crows here? Um, I've been getting this in the last couple of readings. I'm almost getting like this kind of karmic person that came in almost like hypnotized them, you know, put spells on them, work this like dark magic on them, which doesn't last guys. They can't do that forever. Eventually the divine masculine like wakes up from that. But uh, yeah, it's, um, hmm. I don't know. It's like the, the yeah, hypnotized this person here. Uh, let's just see. Are we done with this third party? Like, are they done putting you... Whoa! whoa the messages literally are leaping out. Oh, we've got the King of Cups as the bottom of the deck energy. I'm going to pick these cards up off the floor, but, you know, the King of Cups does not put... You know, he doesn't focus his love on, like, multiple people. It's one person full of love for. So, it's looking hopeful. Let me just see what these cards are. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is quite a long reading today, actually. Um. Huh. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Right. God, when are we going to start with this? <laughs> like I was saying as well, but the devil, you know, the black magic devil showing up here. Capricorn energy. A wolf in sheep's clothing here. It looks like a wolf to me. Someone, yeah, kind of worked as dark magic on this masculine and may have even like you know if there's an addiction problem here lured them back into that whatever substance abuse it was it's like they encouraged that you know and i'm also just getting like phew, money here money was like this person's main focus you know dr bleeding this masculine dry financially so let's unpack this again we've got the knight of pent um well we've got the knight of pentacles so it's another knight you know it's the knight of pentacles is a very sincere person wanting to approach here so I'm just sensing again that they are going to be sincere with their emotions and loyal. So I just feel like, you know, they are done with that third party situation. That's not the Knight of Pentacles way. We also got the Six of Wands. Hello, reconciliation. All about someone being nostalgic, thinking about you a lot, thinking of all your good times, more fire energy. Um... You know, oh no, wait, hold on. Oh my God, I'm going insane. <laughs> it's like I can't even get my thoughts straight. Oh my God, it's victory. <laughs> I'm thinking of the Six of Cups, but there's no mistakes in tarot, so that must have been a sign of reconciliation. <laughs> I've just been like channeled to say that. Oh my God, this masculine's like muddling my thoughts as well, but <laughs> this is just as good almost. Um, Victory with you here being victorious and justice in the situation could be dealing with a libra as well um oh the key to pandora's box here i'm just thinking one of my viewers uh has a cat called pandora That's so interesting um hi christine <laughs> but it's like they want to come in here and give you justice in this situation and it's almost like you've got the key to their heart here yeah, I'm feeling like this person is is done. And the last card we got was the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, in traditional tarot, this is just a couple. This is a very tight, secure 
power couple here. There's no third person here. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling like this is what... Yeah, they're, like they're done with that. They just want to focus on, on the two of you here. And your future together. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, guys, I hope this was helpful for you today. It's kind of took a crazy kind of turn, this reading. Um, I wasn't expecting to do it for as long either, but it's like so many kind of messages were just like popping out all over the place. And I do just feel that it is because this masculine has so much on their mind and so many kind of things swirling around their mind which they're working on. It's like their focus is just... <sighs> but their emotions is like all over the place. You know, even though, you know, they've realised that it, it, it does come down to only you. Anyway, it's just, just kind of... <laughs> crazy, crazy reading here. But, um, yeah, hopefully this helped for you today. 